hello guys welcome to my channel so today in this video we are going to look at how can we remove unwanted characters from our csv file so in this video specifically we are going to look at our columns data and if for any particular column if we have slash n slash r or any other character then how can we actually remove it through python so before we move on to this if you are new to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do now let's look at the python code and let's see how can we actually build it so before we actually work on our python code let's first look at the excel file that we have so i'm not actually using microsoft excel format here i just have a csv file and a different editor to open it so as you can see here um, this is completely dummy data and I have a few columns more than enough and I have a lot more rows so the reason being I'm having these many rows is to actually test like how it is performing if I want to check the performance or efficiency if you can say that so that is why we have these many rows so we have more than 20k data right now and this data is perfectly formatted so we won't be able to see any kind of issue with unwanted characters but i have something in my mind to break this out so i have these um, kind of a data so what i will do is i will simply put it up in this um, row itself all right so as you can see here we have the data So uh, what happens? This should be a proper column and it should be properly opened in our text editor. So if I save it here and reload it here, you can see that the uh, number of rows should match exactly. So it's like this is my second row till here. So I have three more additional rows now which shouldn't be the case because uh, the count as I shown before is that we have 20642 rows here but if I go down now I can see that I have 20645 rows so three more now so this is the scenario where my excel or csv file is getting broken down and if i have to upload this csv file somewhere along and because if uh, because this file is not in a format so it is going to fail right so to fix this issue we have to put up some kind of a python code so that we can remove these unwanted characters from here so now let's work on our python code so I have my idle editor here. I don't have any kind of an IDE. So really sorry for that. So here, what do I need? I need pandas library. So if you don't have it installed with you, you can directly use pip command to install it. So it's just pip install and your pandas. That's it. Now uh, we have to import this. So I'll import this as PD. So this was very necessary. Now um, in our pandas we have data frames. So there is this method read CSV. So because I have to re read a CSV file I have to use this. So here uh, because this is saved at my desktop location and the CSV file is also at desktop location so I don't have to provide the entire path I'll just write the name along with the extension that's it now we have opened this but we have to open it in an object so that is where I'm going to use data frames now with data frames uh, we can iterate over it so data frames is just like your rows and through that you can iterate over your columns so I'll just use a for loop to iterate over it and then from our row or data frame you can fetch a column so here I can fetch a column using df and then call so what do I have to do I know that uh, this issue or unwanted character can be at any column 
and I know uh, that this for me is a new line character so if you go up here so you can see that every data is in a new line and that is why we are having this kind of an issue so to achieve or to fix this actually what we can do is we can just iterate over each column and then try to find if we have slash n and slash r because that is how we comprise a new line character so, and then you can directly replace this using your replace method so here uh, for slash n i am going to replace it with a blank space and then i'm going to put it up as regex equals to true and then I can also do the same for slash r and then again space and regex equals to true now here uh, we don't have any more characters but you have any additional character in that you have to uh, replace it with you can use it here by just doing dot replace and then put that character here so we are good with our replacement now so what we need is we don't want to modify the existing CSV file we want to create another one so that we can compare the data so for that I'm going to use two CSV method and here I will just provide the name because I'm going to use desktop as the location so that's that and if I don't do this index equals to false then it is going to add another column with indexing so I don't want that so I will just do this now let's see the Excel file one more time so let's go up and I just want to remove this uh, in a like I just want it to be in a proper format and here in my test.csv file I should see all of these in a single line all right so now let's see so for this I'll just simply run my code and now we should see out.csv file so I have this file created for me and I can see the time accurate so that is that now open with notepad plus plus and good thing is I can see my data in a single line now so my row 2 is actually a row 2 and it is not being extended to further more rows and if I go down I can see that I have the same row number that I had before right now if I open this again in my editor so I should be able to see the exact formatting that I needed so here I can see that it got formatted and it was pretty quick as well I didn't put up a time difference here but you did saw the runtime so it was really quick and this is it for this video if you have any kind of a question then do let me know in the comment section and if you are wondering like uh, how can this scenario uh, be there in our real world scenarios so uh, what happens is uh, the CSV file usually gets generated through an automated process and sometimes manual intervention is required so either way if our automated pro process has a format issue or if through manual intervention we are actually doing some kind of formatting issue then this can appear in your real world application also remember that when we are talking about JSON formats now it's there it's out there in your CSV files as well so because of your JSON formats you can have this kind of a similar issue so it doesn't matter uh, like how can this scenario come up but issue is that if you don't know about how to fix this so it's pretty much five to six lines of code and through that we can pretty much achieve this uh, pretty easily so so yeah uh, so this is all about this and i really hope that we will meet in some another video till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye